Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and this is going to be the fourth episode of my coloring updates. And I just wanted to show you here the first thing is um, over Thanksgiving I went to the Blick in Las Vegas because I don't have a Blick near me um, and I rarely go here maybe once a year you know. Um, but if there's one like kind of nearby and I have somebody to babysit my kids, I'll go. <laughs> and that's what I did. So I got, it was like a Black Friday kind of bit of a sale. So I finally tried my first Graphitint and I decided to just do a couple of colors to try it out. Um, I got three greens. I got um, Meadow, Ivy, and Green Gray. And then I got one brown, which is the Sage. And I can tell you that I really, really like it. Um, I use this color sage on a page, which you're gonna see in my uh, completed pages, on an eerie page for like stonework. So like, let's say like a stone building. This makes it so easy, especially if the paper is cream. And I'll show you what I mean in my completed pages, but I really like it. I think it's great for a first wash and then you can always add pencil on top. And maybe I'll do a video showing like how I kind of use this, how to make your life easy, I guess. I don't know. I really like them. So I do want to get more colors and I wanted to tell you about that. And then I tried, I said, you know what? Since it's a Black Friday sale, it wasn't that much, you know, it wasn't that much off. Like it was still expensive, but I wanted to try Illuminance pencil. Um, because everyone is raving about him and this and that. I said, you know what, let me just try it. What is the hype all about? So I decided, there weren't a lot of colors, believe it or not, open stock. So, and it was still very expensive. So I just tried two colors. And I said, you know what, dark green is a color that I use a lot. So I got it, the only dark green that I saw, which is dark green sap. And my favorite fall color, which is green ochre. And uh, this is kind of like a color that I love anyway. So, by the way, this meadow is also, isn't that gorgeous? I, I'm, I love this color. It's like my favorite. But anyway, so these are the Luminance pencils. And I can tell you, yes, they are awesome. They're very pigmented. Um, they're not like creamy and soft like Prisma. They're a little harder. But they're very like pigmented. Oh, my God. Um, I can see why people love them. And, you know, maybe one day, I just feel like it's too expensive. It doesn't justify the, pr I mean, it is awesome, but in my opinion, the price is not justified. <laughs> it's just too expensive, in my opinion. But I would love to have a set, don't get me wrong. I love them. But we'll see. Maybe one day the price will go down and maybe I'll get them. So anyway, but at least I have those colors and maybe once in a while I'll treat myself to another pencil. That could be fun. Something to look forward to. Okay, I wanted to show you, I did go on the Amazon three for two sale again <laughs> over Thanksgiving and I got these books. So let me show you. First of all, I got Dreamland, which is such a gorgeous book. I have seen it before. When I saw it, it was on Book Outlet and I didn't get it because I thought it was like too detailed and too like, I don't know. I wasn't ready for it at the time, so I didn't get it. And But it was on Book Outlet at one point. And I do see it here and there at Michael's. I saw it this weekend at Michael's. But I got it on the sale, and I am so thrilled. I love, 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 love it right now. Like, I just want to – it's single-sided. The paper is awesome. I can see myself doing a lot of um, alcohol marker and other mediums. And fun fact, it's a get creative book, which – I already have, this is going to be my fourth Get Creative book. So I'm a big fan of their book. I didn't know that it was a Get Creative book when I got it. Um, I forgot to say the artist Renata Krasik. She's a Polish artist. But I this one, the Get Creative, I have the Yoga Animals. So cute. Um, Secret Worlds is a Get Creative book. And where is it? Mm. 
Nature's Sweet Moments. God. Oh, here it is. Nature's Sweet Moments is also a Get Creative book. So this is gonna be my fourth, and I didn't know. And let me tell you, the paper is amazing. And they have such unique artists. Like, I'm a big fan of this publisher. And um, yeah, like I, I'm just drawn to their books naturally. I didn't even know that it was their book, but the paper is great. If you have a chance, check this out. I think it's an awesome, awesome book. I love it. Then I got um, this, which I've seen on, I've seen it months and months ago, and I really thought it was cool, but I never bit the bullet. And then for the sale, I was like, oh, when I saw it on the sale, I was like, yes, I'm going to go for it. This is so cool. Um, the, the, this is my first grayscale gray book, and I love how he already made it pop out. This is going to be so fun to color. And the size is really cool. It's it's kind of like a small size. This is a Kirby Roseanne. See how that is? So I was really lucky to score that on, on the three for two sale. And then I got my first Kirby book. So I, I've never had a Kirby book, and I always thought he was very talented. But some of the images are very, like, harsh. They're a little masculine and kind of scary looking. So, um, I never got it, but, um, whoops, hold on, my kid is here. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was interrupted. Okay, so as I was saying, um, this is my first Kirby book because a lot, I don't like, um, Mythomorphia and some, but some of them I really like. So I like the Anamorphia, Imagimorphia, um, some of the Geomorphias I really like. So this is basically a mix of uh, a little bit of all of the Morpheus series. And so some of them I like, like I think, I think the unicorn and the mermaid is from the Morpheus series, but I do really like that. But I don't like, like I, I actually covered some because my, I was flipping through my kid. One of my kids gets scared of everything. So I covered the scary ones so that my, my kids won't get scared. Some of them are kind of scary. So I, those are the ones that I don't like anyway, and I cover like the dragon, like this. I'm not really into that. Like it's a little like yeah, I don't like this. I don't like the snakes. I thought about returning it because some of the images I don't like at all, you know. But some I really like. So obviously, there's no question that he's a talented artist, you know. I love the geomorphia. Like this is so cool. Um, I think that's also Geomorphia. This is Anamorphia. That's going to be fun. So yeah, like I covered some of them. This is like the Sea Witch, I think. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's going to be my first Kirby book. And if I, you know, finish all the pages in here, then I, I mean, the ones that I like at least, then I'll think about getting maybe another one. Like this is one of the pages I covered. I don't like that. <laughs> not, that doesn't appeal to me, but that's gorgeous. Like. So that is another one that I got on the sale. And my uh, we have another buddy color, a group buddy color in this with Duo Robot, um, Carrie Kay, and Colorful Pirate. And if you saw my finished pages, then we already did this page together for November. And then for December, we're gonna do this page, the cats. And it kind of felt like a wintry page because these look like snowflakes. So I'm planning to do it kind of like a winter colors. So we'll see. That'll be fun. So I have that coming up. Um, I have a whip in Frozen Fantasies that I really, really want to finish. And I love this book. Um, this one, the Snow Queen. So hopefully I'll finish that this month. And I based it with some alcohol marker. And I think I'm gonna go in with the graphitint and kind of make the, um, for shading. So hopefully I finish that, I really want to. The only other page I have in here is this one and I, I added a little more shading to it because um, when I first did it, I didn't do enough shading, I think. But hopefully I finished that whip I wanted to show you. Um, this is something cool that I wanted to show you. Where is the paper? Um, so there's some tracing paper in here. Oh, so this, this book is called uh, 50 Ways to Draw Your Beautiful Ordinary Life. 
and um, it's made by like Flow Magazine, and then they give you like these, or maybe I bought them, tracing paper, and I trace some of their illustrations. They have a lot of activities in here, I didn't know. But I did do the lamp activity, green light for tracing. How to draw a lamp. So I kind of, oh, I did the lamps and the teapots. So they have them, um, I basically just traced it and then I colored it in. I thought I would show you just for fun. I love how that teapot came, came out. I think I did this with watercolor. I think I colored it in a little bit with watercolor and marker. So I love working on tracing paper. It's a lot of fun and yeah, this was fun. Hopefully I'll go back to this uh, book. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I wanted to show you, I got three new books um, from eBay. Um, none of them are colored in, oh no, this one's from Amazon, sorry. Two from eBay, one from Amazon. And they're older books, again. And this one is the Guess How Much I Love You. We actually, my kids watched the, there's a series. And we have one of the books. But, uh, oh, it comes with stickers. I didn't even realize. I could give that to my kid or you can add it. But yeah, it's just a coloring book. I thought I would maybe do this page for winter. It's very simple, but it's, again, just a children's, um, children's book kind of coloring book. So, and I really like that as you know, if, if you watch my channel. So um, that's kind of like what it looks like. It's very tall, the paper is really nice. And the price was awesome, I got it for $7, which you can't beat, that's, it's really cute. Oh, and they show you an inspiration here of how you can color the little creatures. So I love that. I'll show you that. And then I got the Moomin coloring book. Um, the Moomin, uh, there's a, there's a series of books um, by Tove Jansen, and she's a Scandinavian author, and they translate it into English and many other languages. It's children's books, children's stories. I am not familiar with them, but I will hopefully be reading them to my kids. Uh, they say it's better seven and up, so maybe in a little bit I'll, you know. My older one is six and a half, but still, you know, maybe little bit later. Right now we're reading Winnie the Pooh. But anyway, so so these illustrations, I love the artwork. It's so quirky. And then there was also like um, a, a cartoon, you know. But I just think it's really, really quirky and cool. I love the artwork. I love the coloring book. You guys know I like the wallpaper pages. I'm going to do this one for sure. Yeah, so and there's like little quotes and stuff. So I probably will color in it before I start reading the books to my kids, but I did order one of the books, so we'll see. But um, yeah, it's a really nice quality coloring book and I can't remember how much I paid for it. Maybe eight or $13, I can't remember which one was eight and which one was 13, but yeah, it's basically new. So I love it. Looking forward to that. And then this one was in, I was thinking about getting this for a while. I found it on eBay for $7 and then that listing disappeared. And I think I got it for a little bit more. I think I paid maybe 13, but it's new. No colored pages. It's basically like new. Maybe a little dinged up, you know, but not nothing. No colored pages, but it's called The Garden of Earthly Delights. And I love by Adriana Picker. Picker. And I love the style, like, of this, um, you know, of the natural illustrations of the natural world. Like, look at this. Isn't that so awesome? I just love the style of illustrations. Now, I will say, I love the color of the paper, but the paper is very porous. I do not, I will not be using any water media on this. This will have to be a dry media kind of book. Even marker, I feel like, would not be good. I think I'll just use pencil, gel crayon, and pencil pretty much. Maybe gel pens. I could probably use metallic watercolor because that doesn't actually have a lot of water for some reason. It's, it doesn't really buckle paper very much. But so um, yeah, this book is really cool. So it's an older book. 
and I'm glad I snagged it. I'm not usually big on just flowers and this and that, but but this is a really cool style of art. That's what I really like. I love the B page. That's going to be cool. So yeah, I thought I would show you the Garden of Earthly Delights. Okay, I have um, some news. I, I don't know if you remember. Excuse me, my coffee. But um, I bought, I don't know where the brush that I bought is. But, oh, here it is. I got this to try for highlight. Acrylic ink, Liquitex, um, white acrylic ink. And honestly, it's not that opaque. I'm a little disappointed. I will still use it. Um, because I don't know where my Michael's receipt is to return it, but, um, you know, it'll get used, but it's not great for, it's not that opaque as much as I wanted. So I wanted to tell you about that and that's unfortunate, but I am trying something new and I will report because I haven't tried it yet, but the Artistro, uh, white paint pens supposedly are like the best white paint pen Sarah Renee Clark did a video um, comparing all the white paint pens and she pretty much said this one and Posca are the best. So, and the reviews on Amazon are like amazing. All the reviews say that this is like the best white paint pen. So I will use it and report back to you, but um, this one is extra fine tip, I guess. Ooh, I didn't notice. Yeah, but that's good. Extra fine is good. And I will let you know. So that's trying that out. Um, I want to show you something really cool. Hold on, let me move that. I, okay, uh, there's a bit of a story. So, I had previously my Prisma colors in here. And I was using um, Color with Claire, I believe, her chart of family Prisma color. But I just wasn't using, I don't like keeping pencils in pencil cases. I don't know. Maybe that'll change in the future, but right now it's just... It's annoying to take it in and out. I don't like it. So I thought about putting it in the tray. I didn't know what to do. And then I found something really cool. Let me show you. So first of all, I made a new swatch chart for my Prismas. So it's all in one page. And this is the first time I did that for, excuse me, for my Prismas. And I love it much better now because I can see all the colors at once. So this is working really nicely for me. And right here on my desk, is this, whoops, box. Let me move my oatmeal. Let me see if I can show it. You know what, I'll show like a little um, video of it, but basically, you know what, let me show a video. Hi okay, guys, so basically this is my desk and it sits right here next to me, right here. And it's a, it's called an art storage box. It was like $26 on Amazon and I love it. So right now I have all my, Prismas laid out right next to me. And I'm a pencil case because I really don't like pencil. you just so now I can just take a color, put it back, boom, go in, go in and out. Okay. Oops, and then sorry. And then the third one I have um I did use a tray. I think it's my Derwin drawing pencils tray, but just to add another layer there, because this this uh, last drawer is a little bit thicker. So those are my blues, purples, and then my reds and the red and yellow. So those, so now my, my Prismas sit right here next to me. And I have my, my chart right here. I probably should turn it over so it doesn't get faded in the sun, but basically it's like that, right here next to me. And I love this. This is like amazing. The brand is Seven Elements, in case you're wondering. So I just wanted to show that to you. Oh, I forgot one thing, is, and that is um, I did get this when I was in Vegas. No. Yeah, I got in Vegas at a Barnes & Noble because I noticed that when I was taking my kids, I couldn't, it's not always convenient when you're waiting around somewhere to take out a bunch of coloring supplies. And so it would be much easier to just take a black pen, you know? And so I saw this on Carrie Kay's um, Unfinished Business uh, video, and it inspired me to go get it. She does, like, some really cool stuff with that, but um, I forgot to show this in my finished pages. So you start, basically, it, it already has color, and you add the lines. So I did this page for fall, 
it kind of felt like a fall page and I made it into leaves, mushrooms. They, these look like mushrooms to me. So I added circles and like the, the silver and, and gold gel pen. Um, but yeah, they just look like this basically. <laughs> and you have to add the black lines. So it's fun. It's a really nice thing that you can just throw in your bag and then you just take one of these pens. It could be any pen, you know, like whatever. You take a black pen with you. You throw it in your bag. Maybe your work bag or like your backpack if you're a student or whatever it is. Maybe on your lunch break you can do a little. So um, this is a really convenient thing to take with you. So I throw this in my bag and that's why I forgot to show it in my completed pages because I did do that one. I started this a little bit, but this is the one that I did for fall. So I just wanted to show you. So thank you, Carrie Kay, for inspiring me to get this. And it's really, really fun. Okay, I'm back. So I, I wanna do, I'm gonna do a video very soon about um, my craft room, just to show you. It'll be fun. But anyway, I wanted to show you something cool. I noticed one of the books that I got on eBay and it had no colored pages, basically new. It's an older book. I showed it in a hall called Landmarks of the World. And all of a sudden I noticed the illustrator, Abby Dacre. And she's the same illustrator as Vertical Worlds, which I showed in another hall. And um, I saw this book on Coloring with Kay. I'm sure many of you did too. And I found it on eBay. It has one colored page. Where is it? Oh, right there. But I'm going to cover that up. But yeah, isn't that interesting? So a Abby Dacre... I really like her drawing style. So I have two books by her now. Who knew? I just noticed that and I thought I would share that with you guys um, in case you're interested. Uh, let's see. So I talked about that. Okay, one last thing I wanted to show you. <clears throat> and that is, excuse me is that I have a dud from Book Depository. I kind of jumped the gun and I ordered something without researching it, unfortunately, and because I have the book. So, um, Sybil von Ulfers, uh, it's, it's some old children's books that I have and the illustrations are gorgeous. Like, this is an example of one. So when I saw that they had the coloring books, a coloring book, I said, oh my God, I'm going to get it because I thought it was gonna be like, this would be an illustration, an example. And there's many other beautiful ones, but what they did is, and this is horrible, I wanna return it, but they blew up the beautiful illustrations and just put a piece of it, you know? Um, it's just, yeah, like this, no, why? Why did they do that? Why would you do that? This is one piece of an illustration and they just blew it up. Like this, this is not a coloring page, people. And the paper is wonderful, it's such a shame. Like, here you have a nice, like this should have been a page, you know? I thought it was gonna be like that, like this. The whole, see, they, they kind of mislead you. They put that in the back. But it's very, very disappointing, honestly. Like seriously, no. So that is a dud. I wanted to show you, um, in case you were thinking about getting this. So I'm going to return this to hopefully, if they'll accept it, to Book Depository. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to... It wasn't expensive. I think it was like 7 or $8, but it's just annoying, you know, because I don't want to color in it. It's just no good. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed my coloring updates, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.